Alphabet earnings are out, the shares are down, and just moments ago, President, CIO, and CFO Ruth Porat spoke with Bloomberg Technology co-host Ed Ludlow. Ed, joining us right now. Ed, what did she say? Well, the market's clearly zeroed in on this idea that the search ad business uh, missed estimates, right? And the stock's down significantly after hours. She, it's basically what she didn't say. She said there was no specific geographic weakness. She talked about them seeing growth in YouTube as well as search, but wouldn't say kind of relative, I guess, to the streets estimates what, what, where the weak part was. What's so interesting here is, you know, you guys can see the commentary um, they're, they're zeroed in on the cloud, and we did not send a hot headline on this, but if you look at the top line, cloud did beat expectations, but from an operating income perspective, cloud operating income basically came in double what the street was looking for. And what Porat had to say about that in particular is, yeah, there's a generative AI contribution here, but on a more macro perspective that I found interesting, she said that every single industry sector that buys cloud from Google is showing strength right now, which is kind of of a change from the language we had toward the end of last year. Absolutely, because cloud was the weak point uh, of the last earnings report, and it seems like uh, it's gotten back on track, whereas the ad sales was something that investors are really zeroing in on right now. Um, Romain had made a good point earlier, which was that for the, these big tech companies, 2023 was really about cost cuts and getting their margins back to where they wanted to be. Did Ruth Parrott say anything about cost cuts and expenses and what um, efficiencies look like in 2024? Yes, that basically the plan is to reallocate talent within the company to higher growth areas, and that will, of course, include AI and AI's contributions to the cloud. If you think back to 12 months ago, uh, Alphabet or Google did layoffs, frankly, in one fell swoop, but the strategy this time is around has been to do it on a team-by-team -team basis. And what she explained to me on the phone is that the product managers look at the resources that they have, and they know what their targets are in those areas where things are growing highly so the pace of hiring will reflect a focus on the areas we know are growing more will hire there slow hiring in the areas where there is less growth but also this reallocation in other words moving top engineering talent from one place to another or focusing any spending on getting the best talent in AI which is you guys just heard from your last guest they're not just dealing with their public market peers the private market is out there in force offering big salaries yeah. for yeah. top engineering yeah. talent right now yeah it's a good reminder Ed Ludlow Bloomberg technology co-host thank you so much for bringing us those uh, headlines from Ruth Porat the of course, CFO of Alphabet.